Today we are going to look at a DaVinci Resolve plugin that I find myself using quite a bit, Proto V2. If you like me looking at different plugins or anything I do on the channel, feel free to subscribe. But without further ado, let's begin. I want to start off by saying I did not create this plugin. I'll actually put a link in the description below to the original video of this plugin because it really is a good plugin. For example here, I'm actually on one of my gaming channels. I'm just going to put this footage here. We're going to mute the audio tracks just so the meat is there. As you can see, footage is here, fine, it's regular footage. I know you're thinking, why did that matter? Who cares, right? Well, the thing is, let's add this image, for example, okay? Put this here, right? And then we will drop the, we can either drag this over or we can double click the Proto V2 effect. Yeah, it's a bit over the top right now, as you can see, but we can come over here, change it to alpha. So now if we actually go to the video, zoom it out a bit, we can see that the plugin is going over it like that. Now, we can actually change everything ourselves, glow, color, whatnot, but the thing that in my eyes set the plugin apart from everything else is the fact that they're the presets. So you can literally go through with the presets and it will change the stuff. And, you know, just furthermore, like let's say for example, I like the preset, but I don't necessarily like the color, right? Well, I would just come over here to the color and then change it as simple as that. And then it just changes the color to whatever color you want, which I honestly think is pretty brilliant, if I may say so. Let's actually, you know, try a different thing, okay? When I delete this, okay? Yeah, we just simply deleted it. Now, what we could do, which is what I use it for a lot, like if I have another video that I want to put on here, yeah, say this. This is one of my YouTube shorts or whatever. But I actually want to Highlight it. Yes, this is the video. So I'm going to come over here, drag this over here, and by default, it tried to detect all the edges and whatnot. But if we change it to alpha, we actually get this cool looking effect. Furthermore, we can apply this to it. And then we can move this around as we see fit. And then we have that effect. See, just perfect for it. It just keeps on going. Now, with that said, I will mention that this particular effect will possibly, depending on the computer you have, make it a bit laggy and it actually takes 
like maybe five, ten more seconds, whatever, for it to render. It will take longer for the timeline to render if you're using this effect. Only on the part you're using this effect, it will go slightly slower and then it will go back to speeding up after you're done with the effect. So just keep that in mind if you're planning on using this effect for the whole timeline, it will probably end up making it take double the time what it normally would have taken to render. So definitely keep that in mind. So we saw we can do it on video. We can do it on images. We can do it on quite a bit of things. I actually, for a video recently, did it on this right here. So I had this here. And then, as you can see, I do have it set as my favorite. Just, you know, click the star if you want to set it as a favorite. And then, honestly, this looks kind of fine just the way it is. But, like I said, I always like putting it on alpha. And then there we go. Maybe we want to tone a few things down a bit. We will, you know, some of it trial and error to glow size, tone that down a bit. And yeah, we can just play around with it till we find exactly how we want, then go with it. And we should, in theory, be able to move this to, but sometimes it does have a slight problem with PNGs, because this is a PNG, but there's a simple fix to that. Just right click, hit compound clip, turn your PNG into a compound clip, Apply the effect again, exactly how you want it. And then, as you can see, we will be able to move it just fine over because it's not PNG anymore. So yeah, there's a simple trick fix with that as it were. But yeah, I've actually rambled on about it quite a bit. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description to the video where you can actually, you know, he go, the creator goes more into detail about it and whatnot. I just want to let you guys know because I legit use this um, so, so much. So, yeah, that's just my showing of Proto V2. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comment section below. And I'll catch you guys in the future. Later.